Hi everybody, for those who don't know me, my name's Andy Kearney, I'm one of the senior management team leaders uh, and it's just, I'm just going to give an update today on, on stuff what's happening at the club uh, and going forward and what's going to be happening going forward. First and foremost, uh, obviously we've had to cancel the last two weekends with the pitches, please don't be panicking over, over fixtures because we will get them in before obviously the end of the season. Generally what happens is we usually account for six to eight weeks of the season where there's no games played through the bad weather. We've been very fortunate, we've, we've, we've played through November, December, January and obviously the start of February so please don't worry about that, we will catch up with the fixtures. On another note, going about the pitches, pitches we are going to be uh, meeting the LFA uh, next week in relation to Football Foundation funding and hopefully we will be able to uh, sort out the drainage at some stage because we, we, we do realise on the pavilion side particularly that the drainage uh, needs doing so that's the conversation we're going to be having with the LFA. Going forward the week after we were successful uh, as one of the ace of clubs uh, chosen by the, uh, the FA in relation to what they call investment ready which means that uh, over all of England FA we were chosen out of, of what, something like 80,000 uh, teams uh, to have a, an FA mentor and what this FA mentor does, he will come in, see how we can uh, build the club uh, and make it more uh, sustainable over the future uh, and that's what we want for our kids. Uh, on relation to the lease, the lease uh, is nearly ready and completed because we have now got Captain's Clough back. So hopefully, when we get the lease sorted, we will be able to start planning for Captain's Clough uh, and get those teams back from, from Bella Park uh, back over here. Because we do realise that being over at Bella Park, sometimes it, 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 it's being away from, from, from the club itself. So we do realise that. So just bear with us on that. We're just negotiating that. Uh, we're also, we, we, we do realise through the pandemic, uh, particularly with our kids, uh, there's been a lot of, uh, well-being issues for our children going back to school, going back into sport because they've been isolated for so long so we are now in ready to uh, to announce uh, that our appointment of a, of a child well-being officer uh, who is called Alex Mart. Alex uh, comes from a CAMS background uh, and there will be a club announcement in relation to that to, as soon as we, we got it finalised but going forward you know, it will be something good for the club uh, and as well as using Wise Up, uh, so it'll be good for our children as well, so it'll be good for it to be signposted. Other than that, uh, <clears throat> the, the training venues will be, we've extended the training venues at Lady Bridge and Thornleaf uh, in April, so we'll be coming back on the grass uh, around about April, uh, May. Uh, ready obviously for the sun, hopefully for the sun anyway. But thank you, uh, and if there's any questions, you want to hear anything else, give us a shout uh, and I'll be able to answer your questions. Thank you.